runs military bread on April 18, 2024, not only showcased the nation's military might, but also underscored its commitment to advancing indigenous defense capabilities. Among the array of impressive hardware on display was the Hydra 7, a significant upgrade of the Soviet-era BTR-60PB armor vehicle. This modernized variant boasts a formidable arsenal featuring a 23mm automatic cannon and enhanced protection with explosive reactive armor, reflecting Iran's adeptness in adapting and enhancing aging platforms to meet contemporary security challenges. The Hyder 7 represents a notable evolution from its predecessor, the BTR 60PB, which entered service over six decades ago. First unveiled in 2017, the Hyder 7 caught the attention of military observers with its revamped turret, housing a 23mm cannon reminiscent of the Soviet ZU 23 to anti aircraft system. This upgrade significantly bolsters the vehicle's offensive capabilities, enabling it to engage both low-flying aircraft and armored ground targets with precision and range. The 23mm cannon, similar to the Soviet-made ZU-23-2 anti-aircraft gun, allows the Hydra 7 to hit low-flying air targets at a distance of up to 2.5 km, and armor vehicles at a distance of up to 2 km. The combat module in which it is located is capable of rotating 360 degrees. The gunner position is located on the front right side of the hull, opposite the driver, and is equipped with a display that facilitates operation in all weather conditions, day or night. Furthermore, the integration of explosive reactive armor on the turret and hull sides enhances the Hyder 7's survivability on the battlefield, providing protection against various threats, including anti-tank munitions. Such enhancements reflect Iran's strategic imperative to modernize its armed forces amid enduring economic sanctions and geopolitical tensions. The Hydra 7's modernization extends beyond firepower and protection. Equipped with a remotely operated weapon station, the vehicle boasts enhanced situational awareness and operational flexibility. The strategic placement of the gunner's position opposite the driver underscores a thoughtful ergonomic design aimed at optimizing crew efficiency and survivability, with a dedicated display facilitating all-weather operations, the Hydra 7 stands poised to excel in various operational theaters, from urban environments to open terrain. Iran's investment in upgrading Soviet-era military hardware reflects a pragmatic approach to bolstering its defense capabilities amidst international constraints. Following the upheaval of the 1979 revolution, Iran faced isolation from traditional Western suppliers, prompting a pivot towards alternative sources, including Russia. This shift not only provided access to essential military equipment, but also catalyzed domestic innovation within Iran's defense industry. Over the years, Iran has endeavored to achieve self-sufficiency in defense production, leveraging foreign acquisitions as a springboard for indigenous development. The Hydra 7 exemplifies this trend, embodying a fusion of imported technology with domestic expertise to create a potent combat platform tailored to Iran's strategic imperatives. 
runs unveiling the Hydra 7 represents a milestone in its quest for military modernization and self-reliance. By upgrading Soviet-era armor vehicles with cutting-edge technology and indigenous innovations, Iran demonstrates its resilience in navigating geopolitical challenges and safeguarding national security interests. As the Hydra 7 joins the ranks of Iran's military arsenal, it not only enhances the nation's defensive capabilities but also symbolizes its commitment to charting an independent path in the realm of defense industry development.